Diverse Scenario Measures for Dataset Curation in Self-Driving. Felicia of Self-Driving Vehicles can collect hours of raw data on a daily basis. Since it is not feasible to label everything, it is of key importance to have a way to identify what to label. Active learning approaches identify informative examples to label, but their interestingness is tied to a fixed model performing a particular task. These assumptions are not valid in self-driving where we have to solve a diverse set of tasks and our models evolve over time frequently. In this paper, we propose a new data selection method that exploits a diverse set of criteria that quantize the interestingness of traffic scenes. Here is an overview of our proposed method. Given a traffic scenario, including HD map, SDV pose, and the object tracks from an offline or online perception stack, we compute a set of diverse complexity measures. Using this vector of complexities, we rank the scenarios based on interestingness or diversity and decide on the set of scenarios to label. Let's look at our proposed complexity measures. The first set of measures are related to the static part of the, part of the environment that, in, that indicate how the road users may behave in the scene. One important aspect of the map is the curviness is the curviness of the motion paths for vehicle lanes as well as bike lanes. Here are some examples of lanes with sharp turns that yield high complexity motion paths for vehicles and bikes. Another important measure is the number of crossings in vehicle lanes and bike lanes. Here are two other examples highlighting this measure. We can, see the, we can see that regions with high number of crossing lanes is an indication of possible complex interactions between the actors compared to non-interacting parallel lanes. Other map-related complexity measures include crosswalks, number of intersections and traffic controls, as well as height change in the map. The second set of complexity measures consider actors in the region of interest. We measure the density of static and dynamic actors in the scene. Here are example scenes of high static and dynamic actors shown on the left column compared to less crowded scenes on the right. Similarly, we measure how diverse the scenario is with respect to actor types. Here are examples of scenes with high and low actor class diversity, where on the left, many instances of vehicles, pedestrians, and bicyclists are present in contrast to the scene on the right. More complexities with respect to actors include their spatial distribution, diversity in their velocity, and the curviness of their paths. Here are examples showing scenes with complex actor paths on the left and simpler paths on the right. Finally, we also measure complexities related to the SDV behavior and its interactions with traffic control elements and other actors. Specifically, we measure the curviness of the SDV path, diversity in its velocity, presence of turns or lane changes in the route, interaction with the traffic controls such as stop signs or traffic lights at intersections, and interactions with other actors that are merging or crossing SDV lane. On the bottom row, SDV interacts with another vehicle that is lane changing into its lane at high speed, making it a complex scenario as opposed to the scene on the right where ego car is stopped for the merging actor. In order to select a set of challenging traffic scenes, we use a weighted sum of the complexity measures to rank the scenarios with respect to each goal task. Then we iteratively select the most interesting scenario 
alternating between the tasks. Finally, we select an additional diverse set of scenarios to complete our data selection. For this, we iteratively pick the most dissimilar example from the unselected set shown as blue dots to the set of selected scenarios shown as yellow dots. The dissimilarity is defined based on the computed complexity vector of the scenarios. Our extensive experiments showed that training various models for different tasks of perception and prediction using the data curated by our approach yields significant improvements on average performance compared to an active learning approach or random sampling. Here are some qualitative examples of challenging scenarios picked by our method. In the first scenario, we can notice the high density of actors and diversity in their classes. Similarly, in the next example, various classes of actors exist with high diversity in velocity. The next scenario includes a few vehicles making right turns. In the last example, there is a close by vehicle making a high curvature maneuver. Here are example scenarios selected as diverse scenes with respect to the previous challenging scenarios. In the first scenario, the SDV is making a very short turn due to the high curvature motion paths and not too many actors exist in the scene. The second example contains mostly dynamic actors with uniform velocity. The third scenario contains mostly static vehicles and there is high speed variations in the SDV motion. And in the final scene, the SDV is stopped at an intersection with low actor class diversity. <laughs> 